So the key value store itself is an application that offloads network object storage to FPGA. And so these key value pairs can be really anything. They can be a directory that has names and numbers for forwarding tables. It can be IP addresses and Ethernet MAC addresses. For data deduplication, you can have content hashes and storage block IDs. For stock trading, you can have order IDs. And then associated with that, what stock symbol, if it's on the buy or the sell side, and what price. And for graph search, you can have vertices, and so that you can have a vertex and the edges that it connects to. And so the key value store is agnostic to the data that you put into it, and it just gives you the flexibility of being able to associate values with these keys. And so data centers are converging to using key value stores because you can connect these systems uh, directly into the data center over standard ethernet. But if you implement key value stores in software, the challenges you have are that the operating system delays packets and limits throughput, and also that individual core processing is limited because when there's a burst of events, that these events get processed sequentially by the cores, and so that in time there's a delay between processing these bursts. So the solution is that if you can bypass uh, processing the key value pairs from the operating system, and then in fact go one step further and offload the packet processing in the key value store function with the FPGA, you can guarantee real-time uh, reading of data and writing of data into the key value store. So AlgoLogic, we use key value stores to store data over Ethernet. And this gets used in a number of different applications. Uh, we do a lot of work with low latency finance firms where we do trading and compliance. And so the key value store is storing uh, time critical information from the stock market, such as a tick data that's coming in and an order that goes back out to the market to place a trade. Uh, if we're doing compliance, making sure that the order that's going in is within a limit that's been set. In communication, for cellular networks, for example, we have the network status, handoff, and messages that are being sent over the network. In databases, is that we need to keep track of users, service providers, payments, travel, and authentication. Uh, with sensors, we need to keep track of things like the location of the sensor, bio information, movement of the sensor. Uh, with social networks, is that you have status of people, uh, updates on them. In multiplayer games, is that how they're interacting with each other. And in multimedia, you've got video, and security, and audio, and music. All these applications could benefit from key value stores because each of them have a need to make associations of key value pairs. And so when you implement, have a need for doing these type of applications in the data center, you want to find out ways of doing these that give you the best latency, throughput, and power. And so this FPJ key value store lets you scale up the performance of the application by scaling up the latency, or scaling the latency to be its lowest possible, scaling up the throughput to be tens of gigabits to 100 gigabits per second, and scaling down the power to use as least amount of energy as possible. And then as you need to do larger systems, more capacity, you can just scale out to get more capacity, more throughput, and redundancy, so the data is never lost.